All right, everybody, and we are in round two with Tenacious Jank. I am excited. Our good buddy Belmore98 is here playing 41 cards. Probably something you don't usually do, but I mean, hey, sometimes people like doing it. Although, you don't normally do that. I roll a 20, so I'm going to play. I rolled a 20, said I, and he's mulliganing. Oh, this hand is awesome. We've got a 2-1 into a Scarhide, into this, into this. Yeah, we're going to super keep this. Man, where is this in our games against Captain Loafers? All right, we're definitely yeah. This is this is so awesome. I'm really excited about all this badness. <laughs> Whatever works. All right, play Norald Scarhide. Doing some good work here. Uh, pretty excited about Norald Scarhide actually. Not gonna lie. Uh, he's pretty pretty awesome. Like the ideal one drop. So let's go and draw a card, shall we? Thrill Kill Assassin, you say? Uh, well, we're definitely going to play this one out. Heading for two, I think. And then I think we're just gonna play out our our Gorehouse Chainwalker. I don't see any I don't see any real reason to play out the Thrill Kill Assassin. Uh, he could have something really good on turn two, but who knows? I would like to see a third land so that we just annihilating fire or whatever. Oh, he must not have a turn two play. Oof, that's rough. He could have a turn two play, right? I mean, if he passes it back to me, he's in a pretty bad way. Oh, no. He needs creatures. Oh, he must have played the wrong land. So he's going to play as a guild gate. That's fine. It happens sometimes. I, I tend Sometimes I click on the same lands that I don't want to actually click on. All right, so there's the land. No, oh, it's not the right land. Curses. Rockdose Char. <laughs> Annihilating Fire. We need another mountain. But on the very least, we're going to be beating in for five. Uh, pretty happy about it. I mean, we really, we really can't complain. This is like the exact hand that we want to have. Uh, certainly one of the better better hands to have. So is he looking for... A, does he have swamps, I guess? Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to play out a throw kill assassin uh, off the leash, of course. If he plays a swamp, then I'll play my, uh, my dude. If he doesn't have a turn three play, he's in a really big, 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 big amount of trouble, I guess. Rakdos Charm is not nearly as good now that I know that it hits me as well. This is why you read the cards. Always read the cards. Alright, so he does have a turn three play. And it's not an actual creature. Yuck. All combat tricks. Ooh, so he's got a really cool deck, though. Looks like, maybe. Like, white, white, green, like, junk enchantments? Is that what this is? Junk enchantments? I bet these two of Johnny's presence is pretty unreal. I love a Johnny's presence, man. That card is just absolutely bonkers. Next to Minotaurs, too. Leonin are, like, the coolest thing. All right, all right, and we got stab wound on deck. Yeah, this is gonna be bloody. This is gonna be very, very bloody. Once I get a creature, it will be great. 
I think you will be dead once you get a creature, my friend. Um, because I'm going to play this guy. So unless you have Wrath of God, which I don't think is in the set, things are going to be a little troublesome here. Although his deck does seem like it's really cool. I mean, like, the Ajani's presence plus Krufix's insight. I wonder why he's splashing for the, the swampy things. I haven't seen anything. He's got four Golgari Guildgates, which means he's clearly splashing for something. Uh, what, though, is the question? Dayman! Whoa! Fighter of the Nightman! Champion of the Sun! Um, why has he got two counters? Oh, because it... Yeah. Alright, okay, that's fine. Yes, it does things. It does stuff. So he's, he is the classic Voltron deck, then. Which I don't necessarily care about that much. Yep, he's dead. We got Annihilating Fire. That sucks, though. His deck does just seem really just awesome. Or is he just conceding? He might just be conceding to us right now. Yep, that was a good old, good old fashioned draft radio thrashing. How yeah, that rhymed? Hey, he could do really well. I mean, this is not over by a long shot. So, I mean, just because we we had a quick game one, although the forty one cards is a little odd, but his deck does seem cool. Seems very cool. Plus, he's a really nice guy. He was, you know, have a nice little conversation with us during our last game. So. Belmore 98, man. If you're watching this, you're awesome. Also, hit us up in the comment section. I am curious about that 41. And anytime someone plays 41 cards, I'm always like, huh. Either they have, like, just the best deck ever. Or, like, there's just one card that they just, like, can't resist running. Because I've done that once. During, like, a like a not serious draft. Like, during, uh... Oh, he's sideboarded. Nice. Nice. And he's serious. All right. Yeah, but I did that once during like a what you call it. Um, this hand's fine. We got Frostburn Weird. That we'll eventually get to use, I think. Um, but yeah, yeah, I did that once during like a not serious draft, just to because I wanted to run a derp card, so I did. I ran a derp card. Uh, we're gonna run out that mountain so that if we do draw a second mountain, we have Frostburn Weird mana readily available. But I mean, we've got two drop, three drop stab wound, so could be worse. Could be a lot worse. I'm certainly not the best magic player by any stretch of the imagination. I am not the hero that tapped out needs. I am the hero that tapped out deserves. Which is to say I am derpy as crap. Alright, so there is no... There is no mountain with which to cast... My dude. So we're just gonna run Hoplite out. If he attacks in with this, that's fine. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna block. He can he's already shown that he's got like a crazy amount of combat tricks and things like that that he's get he can utilize to his advantage. So I'm not I'm not gonna run my hoplite into this if it attacks. If it leaves it back, I'm, not, I'm probably not even gonna attack in all honesty. I can play the lobber crew and wait game too, so. Oh no oh, Love it. That's why he's splashing black. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's awesome. Yep, nature's panoply on that guy. Seems good. I'm actually going to stab wound this, I think. I can't really afford my opponent to have that sort of a ridiculous thing going on, so that's just going to get stab wounded right now. Yep, I can't really have him gaining a bunch of life every single turn. And he's probably got other stuff, so. Yep. Oh, I should have swung in there. Uh, so that you all can learn from my mistakes. What I should have done was swung in with Hoplite and offered the trade. And he probably would just have not have blocked, thinking that I was feigning a combat trick. Is he actually swinging? Yeah, take it. <laughs> Swings for zero. Take it. You have a combat trick, sir. Or another Lagana Band Trailblazer. Wow, that seems super sketchy. Playing that out now? You hit me for two, but that doesn't... Normally you save that for blockers. Huh. Yep. Yep. 
Interesting. Maybe he's got another creature? Because then I bring this to a race and it's not even close then. That is so strange. Um, yeah, that is not, not at all what I would have done. But what do I know, right? What do I know? Uh, I'll swing two. He could have Savage Surge. Uh, that's very possible. I could just be bringing in my Hoplite to the Savage Surge. Nope. He just decided to get really ballsy with his attacks. Uh, we are going to tap all four mana. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Farika's Chosen. And a Sewer Shambler. And we're just going to pass the turn back. And the reason that I'm doing that instead of playing Frostburn Weird and Blood Crazed Hoplite is because if you leave this back, Farika's Chosen's a nice attacker... Uh, I can use it and I can draw like an indestructible enchantment or something like that. If he attacks, I can block with it. I, I mean, I don't really care either way. He could have ethereal armor, which kind of nulls this. But if he has ethereal armor, hopefully he'll leave this back. Uh, also, I'm kind of hoping I draw it my lobber crews, of which this guy would be insane for the lobber crew. So, all right. So he didn't. So we do have an attack. This is a. Uh, Trailblazer's a 1-4, right? Uh, or a 1-5, right? Yeah. Blood Craze Hoplite would become a 4-2. And then it would become a 5-4, and then this would be a 0-4. He doesn't have enough to a Johnny's Presence. I like that play very much. Yep. I think the play is to Gnarl Scarhide. Blood Craze Hoplite eats your blood. Yeah, because he's a 5, right? That's 1, 2, 3. What is it? What is he? He's a 5, 3. He's a 5, 3. So I'm swinging 6. Yeah, I'm just going to swing everybody here. Swing 8. Swings for 8 is what I'm trying to say. All right, so he takes... All right, so he's taking that, and he's losing one of his Trailblazers, and he's taking the damage. Yeah, he just loses the Trailblazer that blocks Hoplite, though. Yeah. Okay. Now it's your turn. Yeah, I just had to make sure that he's losing that guy. Otherwise, that attack is just not at all good. For us... Yeah, see, the problem with this deck, though, is if... If you get your... Like, if you lose your Voltron engine really quick... It starts to be a little more difficult. And I'm really happy that we, we chose to stab wound the Dagger Drome because I know that he had those combat tricks. Uh, I am I am shocked that he just kind of swung in with the Ajani's presence. Although maybe there was a reasoning to that. I, like I said, I'm not the best magic player. I don't know all the answers. I just I just play I just play magic, guys. Okay, so he's got stuff up. Uh clearly he has stuff up. I think we're just gonna swing in with everybody though. I'm happy swinging in for 8 here and making things happen. Yep, that's fine. So it becomes a 2-6 indestructible creature, uh, which is fully acceptable. I'm assuming that it's going to eat the Farika's Chosen. Why does this not have a counter on it? Hoplite is a 5-3, so that wouldn't work.
Okay, so maybe uh, he just really just wanted to block that. I'm surprised. I probably would have blocked Farika's Chosen there, taken 7 and gone to 10. Uh, Farika's Chosen is just going to be such a beating against uh, against his kind of a deck. Um, but we're going to play Frostburn Weird, and we're going to play Hoplite, and hopefully just sort of skullduggery him out, I guess. I mean, if we draw Traitorous Instinct, that would be insane. Annihilating Fire would be insane. Uh, another creature. Just put more pressure on the pressure on the pressure cooker. That sounds pretty cool. I wonder what he's gonna do. That is that is an important question. Uh, okay. So he's got Market Festival for... Okay, so he just he misplayed Market Festival. Okay, that's fine. Um, interesting. Very, very interesting. Swing and one. Take the one, go to 17. Yep. When you know one of his cards is Market Festival. So he's hitting me for three. So I take two extra points of damage. All right. Uh, whoa. All right, that's insane. Okay, hold up here. So I take 6. I was at 17, so I go to 11. Yep, that's fine. Right? Is that what happens? I think that's what happens, right? They did 1, yeah, they did 2, then I did 6. Uh, Alrighty then. When we know that's Market Festival in hand, so... I'm gonna leave my death touch guy back. So that's two, four, nine. Pump this guy three times. Uh oh yeah, I can just swing lethal here. Swing's third turn. Oh well. Yeah. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't know what that was. Like, uh, yeah, that's also I just forgot. I would like to play that off like I am so much smarter about that, but I, I honestly just I didn't bother to math. I think at this point there's not a card. There's not a card in his deck that honestly wins this game. Yeah, his, his use of the indestructible cards has been odd. Like, you think you would have left blockers up. Like, I would have definitely held these guys back. Um, you know what I mean? But, yep, so he plays Market Festival. Which actually costs one extra mana. Nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this deck sucked. Alright, well, guys, uh, we did really well there. I mean, one and one is not the greatest thing in the world, but, I mean, you know what? We had a lot of fun doing it, and... Most importantly, we played good games of Magic. And let's be honest, that is that is honestly all that I've ever really wanted is to, to play it like that. So, guys, take it easy. As always, have a great, great night. Check us out on Facebook. We have a Facebook page now, which is awesome. I'm really excited about it. So Draft Radio is officially a thing because it's Facebook official. Oh, man, I sounded like every white girl I've ever met. Um, take it easy guys. And as always have a great night. If you would like to get involved with the draft radio draft, email us at draftradio at gmail.com. Give us a set that you'd like to draft. Give us a time that you might want to draft and be interested in. Uh, and as always guys, take it easy.